This is four-year-old Maeve Reed. Maeve's mother, Lisa, says she's a very busy kid. Tuesday afternoon, Lisa says she was driving to the store with Maeve in her booster seat behind her when Maeve said she couldn't breathe because she was tangled in the seatbelt. Lisa pulled into the giant market parking lot in Dixon City to try and free Maeve. I was trying to stay calm for her, mm -hmm. but I couldn't. And then when I saw the marks coming up on her neck from the seatbelt, that's when I think I lost it. Mm -hmm. So it just... For me not being able to help her, it was scary. The seatbelt was locked and getting tighter as Maeve moved. Panicked, Lisa called 911. Officers from Dixon City and Blakely showed up to help. The closest nearest unit were dispatched. Chief Salerno from Blakely and I responded. We were still down in town and he got there first. So I pulled in, got out of the car, went right to the back seat. I saw the, the child the child struggling for air, pulling on, crying. Um, saw that it was two seat belts that were quite wrapped around her, her neck. Chief Salerno was able to cut both seat belts to free Maeve from the entanglement. She even got a teddy bear to give her some comfort from what could have been a bad outcome. Oh, she said, could I have my mommy? So I held her and the chief did such an excellent job. I, I sent them um, a thank you note on Facebook and um, she's been carrying around the bear and it, it was just a relief. Other than a few scrapes from the seat belt, Maeve seems to be doing well. Chief Bolinski says his department has had a couple seatbelt related incidents recently and urges parents to do a safety check when kids are in the car. Making sure the child is seated properly, making sure that they're within eyesight. Uh, yesterday's was a little different. She's kind of seated behind the parent, so a little tougher to see until the child said that something was wrong. Courtney Harrison, Newswatch 16, Lackawanna County.